Regarding one's spiritual journey, how much of one's time should be spent uncomfortable? I love this question. It's at the core of a lot of what we think about worship and with the, the life of the church generally. So let's begin with our commitments, our, our vision statement that we come up to every week. We say everyone should be welcome first. So that's where we start. And where that vision statement points to is everyone is welcome in this community and, and our purpose is to transform ourselves and transform the world. That transformation can be huge. I, I really think that Unitarian Universalism can change the world. And it can be very small. Every Sunday, the goal is to be just a little bit different, a little better of a person than when we woke up. Transformation in all things, big and small. And I've been through a whole lot of transformations in my life, becoming a parent, leaving home, joining a church, then going to seminary, moving across the country several times, taking up running at a relatively late age. None of those transformations has been entirely comfortable. Each time I've grown as a human being, it's meant leaving behind something that was important to me, but incomplete. There's an, an idea in one of the courses that I'm working on this week, uh, which is why I'm not doing these live, the idea of productive disequilibrium. Basically, it's this, and I'm going to try and put up a chart here. For just about every system uh, or individual, equilibrium and transformation are, are antithetical. Comfort and equilibrium mean that we don't see a need to change, so we don't. Conversely, too much change, too much disequilibrium, and we freeze up or respond defensively. So our work as people of transformation is to find ways to keep some level of disequilibrium, some level of discomfort, without overdoing it and becoming counterproductive. We also know that not all discomfort is equal, right? So I'm, You'll forgive this metaphor, I hope, but I, I mentioned taking up running at a late age. So um, running hurts, especially uh, when your knees are not 18. Um, and about once a week, I've been doing a long run. And, and for a day afterwards, hopefully just a day, my legs are sore. Physiologically, that's because the, the muscle fibers have been stressed and are re-knitting into a stronger, more flexible pattern. And then two weeks ago, I was out running on one of these long runs, and I, and I hit a bump, and I sprained my ankle. And that hurt a lot. Uh, and that is not a productive discomfort. Uh, it has instead had me in a soft boot for the last two weeks doing rehab exercises before I can start running again. So... A skill for learning to be uncomfortable at church is being able to tell the difference between spiritual stretching that's going to help your work of transformation, that's going to help you grow and become stronger and more flexible and more thoughtful, and a, a sprain that's going to require rehab. Because at first everything feels like a sprain. Every, every time something in worship lands sideways to us, it, it feels painful. But the more you can do that internal work to, to self-diagnose and lean into the discomfort of transformation and be able to say, this, this is uncomfortable, but it's an opportunity for growth, I think the better equipped you are for the work of building beloved community that it's central to what we do as a church.